working with Otis. Engineering loading the desired machine profile. In Otis S you need to start diagnostics, you don't have to wait for the diagnostics to finish, the main thing is to start doing it. Save diagnostic protocol. Open it in a browser expand all just below the beginning of the protocol the name of the project for this car will be written. We are interested in the item name of the awesome project. Exporting adaptations and encodings. Item vehicle services, vehicle services, sub item 046 special vehicle functions. Select the desired block. Check the boxes next to the items. Adaptation, encodings, click read data. Specify the path and click save. Some blocks may ask for passwords, logins. After scanning is completed, our protocols are saved in the selected folder. Activating development mode. Sometimes, to activate certain adaptations, an out of range or function unavailable error may appear. In most cases, to solve this problem, it is enough to enable development mode in the diagnostic session for the desired block. Saving presets slash presets. Go to the desired block, adaptation or encoding. Select the desired item, the one, vo, vn, expand it by clicking the arrow on the left. In the top right you need to click preset. In the drop down menu, select new, give it a name. There, in preset, select export and indicate where to save. Loading of presets slash presets is carried out in the same place in the button menu preset, import. You can delete a preset slash preset from Modus in the same place, the delete event menu. Loading parameters. Select the desired block. Clause 010, subclause 010, 01 downloading data. Select the file and start downloading. Updating the unit software. Before updating the software, you must follow these instructions. Ensure that the charger is connected to the car battery. When updating the software, all electrical consumers that are not necessary, ventilation, heated seats, interior lighting, etc., must be turned off. It is imperative to use a cable connection between the adapter and the vehicle, when connecting via Bluetooth copyright, transmitter, unwanted interruptions to the software update process may occur. Be sure to disconnect all third-party connections to the car, cell phones, external drives, and remove the SIM card from the GU. The driver's door must be open during the software update. During the software update, turn on the hazard warning lights on the vehicle to ensure that the CAN bus on the vehicle side is always active. 